previously on Tomorrow is Another Day. He thinks he killed me. Liz. Hi, it's Steven. Mr. Black. The man that sent you that note threatening you the other day. He... He just tried to kill me. He broke into my house, he smothered me with chloroform, and I think I was knocked out for a couple of hours, but he thought I was dead. He still thinks I'm dead, and, and I don't know what to do. I, I ran, I got out of his lair, and I woke up, and I was in his lair, it seemed, and I, I, and I escaped. He might find me any minute. Meet me at the bridge, because you're on his list for the next victims. Identify me as a fugitive. The, the Lakeside Falls policemen want me behind bars. I, I can't. I can't. I have to stay out here and hide it. Mr. Black didn't kill you. He didn't succeed. How? Look, I don't know who's asking me, Liz, but I, I don't know, but I received a note from whoever Mr. Black is, and he says that he wants to take my place as the person who destroys Angelica's life. So you're saying Mr. Black wants revenge against Angelica? Look, look, Mr. Black gave this to me as almost like a clue before he thought he killed me. Why did the killer show you this? The killer is playing games, Liz. The killer wants me to guess who their identity is. By the looks of this clue, I think that the killer is Angelica. Houston, if you t and it says at the bottom here, Thespian. Thespian's an actress. If you take out the first O, then that's Angelica Houston. But I don't think it's her. I think that's someone else. Trying to make the clues lead to Angelica, just like I did with Lynette Roberts. This killer is smart, but not smart enough to kill me. The killer will surely be back, right? Most likely. But we're going to have to find a way to escape Lakeside Falls. Soon. How? You're going to have to die too, Liz. Oh, Steven, thank God. I need to talk to you. I heard about Brandon Ramirez and Audrey Simmons. See, Liz, in Mr. Black's lair, I found a list that I told you about that had all the victims' names on it. It was my name, then it was Brandon's name, then it was Audrey's name, and now it's yours. See, I think the killer is doing these killings daily. See, the killer thought they killed me on Friday. Then he killed Brandon on Saturday, and then it killed Audrey on Sunday. Now today's Monday. He's probably planning to kill you today. I know. I'm so scared. I have a meeting later with Jamie to talk about Brandon and Audrey's death. And now, Bruno Ramirez is missing along with another witness. Perfect. Don't tell Jamie anything about you being threatened by Mr. Black. Today is the day we need to escape. The day we need to make Mr. Black think that you're dead. How are we going to escape after this, Steven? My body is probably going to be sent to the morgue, and I could be embalmed. I told you, Elizabeth. I always find a way. I'm sorry that I'm being so defensive over an 11 and a 9-year-old. I don't know what else to tell you. I need to leave because I can't do that. No, no, no. You can't go. I'm going home. I really don't understand how I'm getting yelled at right now when there's two little freaking kids that died. She seriously needs a reality check. That Jamie woman is a bitch. How are we gonna do this, Steven? I'm waiting at your house for you now, Liz. When you get here, come to the backyard and I'll tell you the plan. Oh my god. 
Somebody's following me, Steven. What? Uh, just drive all the way home and see what happens. I just took the turn. But Steven, ever since you told me about Mr. Black and stuff, I had security cameras put in my house. If you can somehow find a way to get into my house and get onto my computer, it's in the kitchen. But please make sure that everything is safe when you leave. Call me back. All right, on it. Bye. in there and save her, figure out a way, figure out a way for her not to die. Hi, Liz. The killer is in the house. He, he is upstairs in the bathroom and he's filling the tub and he's plugging in the radio. I don't know what he's planning to do. I think he might be throwing you in and electrocuting you, but I'm not sure. I, I, we have to prepare for this. Stop at Dunkin' Donuts and, uh, and I'll figure I'll figure out something. Okay, Steven. I've pulled over. I think I have an idea though. Down in the basement of my house is all of the power systems. If you could if you could just go down there with the laptop and watch. I'll come in and I'll go along with whatever is happening. And then if Black does throw on that radio, maybe you could just turn the power off or something. But Steven, what if the killer does something else like like, shoot me, or does the electrocution thing, like, what if he takes my body with him? It's gonna be fine, Liz, I promise. Come on, Liz, get here, get here. God, I can't let this murder happen. Hi, Jonathan, uh, I need you to do me a favor immediately. Go to 132 Tontine Street, and Jamie Summers will be in that house. Now, I need you to bring her that Houston clue that I gave her to you. Remember the clue that said Houston on it? I need you to give that to her and lead her back to the police station. Thanks. Here she is, here she is. Come on, Melissa, you can make it through this. Why is the No! Oh, what is you? She saw Mr. Black. He's gonna electrocute her! Thank God. Hi, is this Jamie Summers? Hello, this is Jack Harrington. Yes, yes, my mother was one of the Lakeside Falls serial killer's victims, Lynette Roberts, back in October. Yes, yes, and with the new killings that were going on, I, I just got a little paranoid and Bruno Ramirez gave me your number. Um, I'm a resident of Frontier Street, and I noticed some strange behavior going on in room one three, in house 132. Yeah, I'm not sure. My neighbor's name is Liz Benson. Yes, yes, that's the one. Um, I, I thought I saw someone in a black hoodie go into the house, and I'm, I'm worried for her well-being, but obviously I don't want to go in there because I'm afraid something might happen. Uh, yes, I understand you're not a cop, but I think this is something that needs to be attended to. Uh, just, to just to investigate you. No backup needed. Alright. Thank you, bye. Liz, we really need to treat this wound. I mean, it's really bad. But did you see Mr. Black? Do you know who it is? I saw him. I, I, I know I saw him. But after I got pushed in the tub and hit with the candle, I have no idea who it is anymore. The vision is out of my head. Well, Jamie Summers will be here any minute now, and you're going to have to go back in there and lay, on, lay in the tub again so she'll find your body. And Jonathan will come in before she has time to call the police and lead her back to the police station with that clue that I gave him. I gave him the Houston clue. And then you'll be able to escape. You can meet me back at the bridge, and I'll tell you what our plans are for tonight to escape Lakeside Falls forever.
get out of our skin cells. Because I have some information. What do you, what do you, what do you know? Meet me at the police station and we'll talk about, meet, meet, meet me at police headquarters and we'll talk about this. We did it. Mr. Black thinks I'm dead. I just feel like the games are just beginning now. What do we do? Liz, I'm very thankful for what you've done. And not only are you doing this for me, you're doing this for yourself. I got my pilot's license when I was 18. I'm able to fly overseas. We're going to take off in the Cascade Valley Airport tonight on a private plane. And we're gonna to go to Fiji, an island that I found. And Mr. Black will finally never be able to find us. But I just got a call. He knows I'm not dead. We need to go before he finds us first. Let's go.